Butterfly Fall. Okay, we're talking today now about uh, labial fullness. The student was asking where the bulge is coming from the acrylic. I would say yes. If you come and put the, the, the uh, base plate inside, you find that the bulge immediately is beneath the nose. So your diagnosis is correct and I agree with you. So how to diagnose acrylic bulging from wax bulging? Watch the angle just beneath the nose. If there is a bulge between the nose and the lip at this angle, this is all responsible. Uh, uh, all of this responsibility is from the acrylic, okay? So you have to trim the base plate. Now, in some cases, some patients, we have undercuts. We have a lot of undercuts. The technician, while they were working, they blocked these undercuts. That's why the base plate is bulging. So you try to reduce from this base plate, you're going to try it for, to reduce from this base plate as much as possible. But if it thins out and you find it sharp, you even can create a window. Okay? So this, these are the how to solve bulging from the acrylic of the base plate. First, you trim from the canine to the canine area. If that is not enough and you feel that it's very thin, you also can remove the totally the labial flange, okay? And then take your measurements of the wax for the lip support. After that, in the wax up step, when they are creating the denture back in the trying stage, they will refill this with uh, wax when they are doing